Hey, uh, this is Jurre from Framer. A uh, very quick tutorial. So I was looking at the uh, Linear App website and they have this cool effect on the on the app window um, where this sort of shimmer or glimmer goes across the top of the window uh, and it repeats itself. Um, so it's a sort of looping animation. And I figured this is now very easy to do with the effects release that we uh, introduced in Framer last week where you can uh, easily add looping animations. Uh, also adds a bunch more like hovers and drag. Um, but I thought I'd show you how to set this up in Framer. So I already have my project set up here with a Framer window, um, similar to the linear website. And I have a sort of a shimmer uh, layer set up here, which is a very simple layer. It's just uh, one pixel high, 100 pixels wide. Uh, and it's positioned at the top left of the Framer window using the um, absolute uh, positioning type. And it has a fill, which is a linear gradient, which goes from uh, white 60% uh, opacity to um, white 0% opacity. So it fades out on the left. Um, and what I can do with this layer is I can select it and add an effect to it. So uh, over here on the right, we can add the effect and I'm going to select the loop effect, which is going to add a looping animation to it. Um, I'm going to leave it on loop. And I'll add like a three second delay to it, which means it's going to wait three seconds every time the after the animation stops playing. Um, leave scale to one. I don't need any rotation, so setting that to zero. And I'm going to move the layer to the right, so I'm going to change the X value. Um, so let's um, click on the arrows here and then just drag my mouse up. And you can see on the canvas that the layer starts moving, so we can sort of select um, preview where that layer is going. So I'm going to set this to, let's set it to about 800 pixels, which means it's going to move 800 pixels to the right. So you can see, still see that the layer is over here. Um, and I'm going to set the opacity to zero because I want it to fade out as it moves to the right, which sort of creates this effect that linear also has. So opacity zero. And then I'm going to change the transition type from linear to ease out, which means it starts very quickly and then slowly slows down as it reaches the end of the animation. Um, and I'm going to set the time of the animation to about 1.5 seconds, which means the animation takes 1.5 seconds to play. Um, so now if I publish my website and open that in my browser, You can see that the animation plays uh, every three seconds and takes about 1.5 seconds to animate, which sort of creates this effect that Linear also has on the website. Um, now, Linear also has one on the right side of the window. Um, so I've also already set up one over there. Same, uh, same principles, uh, but this time the layer is one pixel wide instead of high, and it's uh, 100 pixels high instead of wide. Um, going to add the same effect to this. So effect, loop, and I'll add a different delay to this so they don't play at the same rate. Um, so I'll do maybe two seconds and don't need a rotation. This time I'm going to change the Y value. So moving that up so you can see the layer moving down. Probably move it to about 600. Um, I can make it go a little bit further, maybe 670 and set the opacity to zero again, changing the transition again from linear to ease out. And I'll also have this take about 1.5 seconds. Now updating my website again, preview that in the browser. And now we have both of those shimmers going uh, across the top side of the, the window and also on the right side. But since they both use a different delay, they sort of unsync, which is cool because then you get one at the top and then one at the left or the right side. Um, so yeah, this is a very easy, easy way of adding that effect to your site uh, in Framer without using any code.